We're painting cute little animals and so far we've painted a pufferfish, a hippo, a little chick, a seal, a cow, a walrus, a frog, a bunny, a pig, a koala, and an owl. Can you guess what today's is gonna be? Grab your watercolors and give them a spritz. Then I'm gonna fill my brush with a nice light blue color and I'm gonna make two circles that are about two circles apart from each other. Then I'm gonna wash my brush and I'm gonna mix up a nice light gray color. Then I'm gonna start by outlining the insides of the eyes, trying not to touch them. I'm gonna make a little rounded area, and I'm gonna swoop up to the center, giving this animal a little bump on the head. I'm gonna fill in that area in between the eyes. Under the eyes, I'm gonna swoop out to give little chubby cheeks. Coming towards the center, fill it in. Then I'm gonna swoop straight down from both sides, giving a little curve, and then back up onto the paper. At this point, I bet you know what it's gonna be. While the cheeks are still wet, I'm gonna wash my brush and I'm going to tap into a nice bright pink color to drop a little rosiness into them. Mine was a little bit too bright, so I'm gonna wash my brush and tap it to make it just damp. And then I'm gonna just kind of smooth it into the area around it. And then up from the eye, not quite touching the head, I'm gonna swoop out and away off the page. Then I'm gonna outline the whole side of the face without touching it until I get to the bottom of the cheek. And then I'm gonna swoop out and away. I'm gonna fill that whole area in, adding a little more water to my brush, and then repeat that on the other side. Then I'm gonna fill my brush with a slightly more concentrated gray color, and I'm gonna swoop out and down from the ears on either side, leaving a little space between the body and the areas I've previously painted. Then I need to let this dry or make it dry. Once dry, I'm gonna fill my brush with a nice dark color and I'm gonna make two smaller circles within the initial circles. Then I'm gonna wash my brush and fill it with a bright purple color and add in a background. Then one last time, we need to let this dry or make it dry. Once it's dry, I'm gonna grab my white gel pen. I'm gonna outline everything, add highlights to the eyes and some wrinkles down the trunk. This one might be my favorite yet. I might be biased though, because elephants are my favorite animal, besides dogs. What should we paint next? 